Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy. I'm here at CloseThatExplosion.com. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'd like to discuss with you the profit that you should try to pursue when you sell your clothing. Now, what do I mean by that? I've discussed already in the past videos, you know, how to set profits, how to know what actually is your profit, but I think there's something more important that I should discuss now because I was thinking about it for my own business and I think you might benefit from it. When you set a profit, of course it should be good profit, but don't get fixated on the actual dollar amount. What do I mean by that? Or if you sell it in Nigeria, or Naira, or wherever you're selling your, you know, your local currency. Because this is what, very ha what happens very often. Let's say someone comes to my wholesale business and they buy a $100 dress for $25. And they decide they, they're gonna sell that dress for $75. They're giving their consumer, their customer, a really good deal. And at the same time, they're making $50 in a dress. But here's what happens on the wholesale and the retail level. People get so fixated, I should include myself, we get so fixated on making that $50 that we could forego sales and we forget how much more money we can make if we would just sell the dresses at a lower price but on a steady basis, right, on a regular basis. So if you could sell the dress and make $50, make the exact profit that you want to make, that's amazing, you should definitely do it. But if you see that that it's kind of, it's impacting your sales, you're not selling it you know, as quickly as you'd like, then just take a step back and say, you know what? You could always buy more dresses. Yeah, maybe that's an unbelievable, beautiful dress. And you know what? Maybe it's a $300 dress. And you're like, a $300 dress, you're giving to your customers for $75. They should be so happy and buy it. But if for whatever reason, it's taking a little longer to sell it, or you, or even, you know what? You could sell it really fast, but there's a customer right now, right here, who's ready to buy it from you. And instead of making $75 in the dress, and making $50 in the dress, you're going to make $30. But it's a sure sale. You should consider taking it. Of course, always also you want to factor in all your other costs, but if it's an item, it's a wholesale product that you can buy on a regular basis and you can restock easily, then be flexible on the, on the profit because you can always bring more merchandise and sell more merchandise. If it's a closeout, which you could rarely get or it's a one-time closeout, then you have to think about, you know, if if you sell it too low, you're not gonna have the merchandise again, and maybe someone in the near future, or even you know, maybe a few months from now, or a year from now, will buy it for you at a much higher price. But if it's an item such as dresses, and it's a category of dresses that you could sell on a regular basis, be flexible on the profit, don't get too fixated on the actual profit that you wanted to make, and just focus on the long term and make more money that way. Hopefully make more money that way. All right, thank you so much for watching. My WhatsApp cell phone number is 1917-913-6093. Thank you for watching, have a great day.